It's a safe bet that meteorologists love science and making their own science experiments, right? Or am I just am I speaking out of pocket? There? Oh, no, that's absolutely true. And of course, our own Mike Witcher made a video on how to make an anemometer. And just to be clear, that's a device used to measure wind speed. And he has some very special help. <laughs> Hi, well, meteorologist Mike Witcher here for you, and we are going to talk about how to make an anemometer today. I know a lot of you are at home trying to figure out what to do with the kids. This is super easy, and it's awesome. The kids can go out and blow on it on a windy awesome. day. They can go out, and I've got my two kids here, Kipton. Hello. And Kaden. Hello. Hello. Here we go, folks. Okay, so all you need is uh, some baking cups. You need some push pins or thumbtacks, super easy. You need some like needles or some pins or whatever, something to poke in through. Uh, some cardboard, at which point you're just gonna cut out into strips and then cut out a little part in the middle because you're gonna end up putting these together to make an X or a plus sign, an X or a plus sign. Um, I happen to use a straight edge and an X-Acto knife to cut these out and then what we're gonna do, oh, by the way, need that spool, spool, right here, see, right there. Okay, guys, here we go. You ready for this? Yes. So here's what we're, oh, I forgot. Where'd your eraser go, bud? I don't know. You better find it. There it is, it's right there. Right there. And I forgot, you need some pens, like pencils, pencils with an eraser on the bottom of it. Let me have it. So, let me ask you this, Kipton. What? What does an anemometer do? I don't want to say it. A monitor, when you, when you put it outside, it, it can go this way, go this way, it can go this way, it can go this way, go this way. So what does an anemometer do? It measures the wind speed, right? Wind speed! I know. Okay, so let's do it together, guys. Okay, here's what we need. Ready for this? Yeah. Yep. So yep. now we've got you've got your pieces of cardboard. Okay, Caden, put your cardboard. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take your cardboard and remember I told you to make those little slits. Put them together to make a X. an X or a plus sign. Plus sign. Okay. Plus sign. <coughs> now, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your spool and put your pencil inside your spool. Put it in there, Kaden. Okay, not too hard. That's right. Okay, now what we do, somebody show me putting your X together. Right there and right there. You silly. Okay, now what we're going to do is remember you needed four of these. So you need four of the baking cups. One needle and four push pins. You probably can't see those, but four push pins. Here we go. Where's your other push pin, dude? You better not drop it on the floor or something's gonna step on it. Watch where you're stepping, buddy. <clears throat> okay, that's okay. Now let me see, okay, well let me see yours, Kipton. So what you're gonna do, Kaden, is you put this through the hole like this and you put it together on you put it together like this, and what you're gonna do is take these cups. And you're gonna put these cups. Oh, uh, where was it? It was in my cup, I did not know. So you're gonna do these like this, just like this. Put it on there, poke it through. So now you're gonna have a cup on each side. I can't get it, Cat, I get it. I get it. Oh, not these ones. I got it. Good job, buddy. I'll help you here. I gotta get it. These, I can get it get out. Up. And you, so moms and dads, unless you have bigger kids, you're probably going to want to help them out with this part because I've already poked myself. I do good, I do good, I do good. Can I help you do it, please? Yeah. I will help you guys. Okay, so then, once you get them all on there, now you're left with something that looks like this. Okay? But we're not done yet. So stand by. Stay right there, Kaden. Let me have yours, Kipton. I got this part. 
Oh, no, you mine. got that part? This one's not mine. This is yours. No, this one's mine. No, nope, we've already got the cups on here. Mm, no, mine. So then what you're going to do is you take that pen, and you're going to take this cup, and you're going to stick it right through the middle of this cardboard, right down the middle, try to make it as in the middle as you possibly can, because you want it to be even. And you want it to poke out the other end. So poke out the other end right there. So now you've got this piece with a little pen in there. And remember that we took our spool and our pencil with an eraser on top. And all you do is stick it in the top. Okay, and don't push it on too hard because you want this to freely move. Daddy. And then Caden, what do you get? Blow. Ow. An anemometer. What is that called, guys? Uh, an uh, anemometer. And what does an anemometer do? It measures the wind. It measures the wind. All right, tell everybody right there. Wave to everybody and say, good luck building your anemometer. Good luck building your anemometer. <laughs> so there you go, an anemometer that you can build at home. Super easy, super simple. Uh, we're going to help you and your family put it together so you guys can have a good project with your family and your kids. Hey, as always, be safe. Be kind to each other. And thanks for watching. I, I know what I'm going to do when I get home tonight. Oh, yeah? You're going to build an anemometer? Yeah. If, if those three kids can do it, then you know anyone at home can do it. All you viewers at home.